Okay, you might still be stuffed from last night, but we are sticking with the food focus for a little bit. But on a kind of food, we really haven't seen a lot here in the Bay Area. This month, a new restaurant debuted in the East Bay. It's called Wapipa's Kitchen, and its specialty is Native American cuisine. Joining us tonight is the chef and owner, Crystal Wapipa. Thank you so much for being with us. She is a member of the Kickapoo Hello. tribe, and you grew up in Oakland on Ohlone land. So let's start by asking you, because I think I'm a little, you know, I don't really know, and I'd love to know more about it. What is the essence of Native American food? Oh, it's definitely the culture and where the food comes from and how it's harvested and how it is made and how it's brought onto a plate. So tell me a little bit about the menu. Like what kind of ingredients do you use? Give us a little bit of a flavor of what we would get if we went to your restaurant. Oh, you'll definitely get blue corn and you'll definitely get a smoked cedar sweet potato Ooh. on a tostada. And we specialize in our blue corn bison meatballs. And we also specialize in our hand harvest wild rice cakes. Wow, bison meatballs. That sounds so delicious, I got to say. So where does the passion for your food come from? Oh, it definitely comes from my grandmother and my tribe, which I'm Kickapoo from Oklahoma. And it's something um, I always seen that was missing, especially here in the Bay Area. Um, it's something that is vital to our community. And it's something that is so beautiful. I love presenting Native American foods just on a plate and letting people taste different culture of the foods and different tribes. And how, Crystal, I have to say, I'd never even heard, like when they mentioned it to me today about Native American food or a restaurant. Is that <laughs> common that you see that in other states? I mean, why am I just hearing about this now here in the Bay Area? Um, well, if you were in Arizona or New Mexico, it, it wouldn't be uncommon. But especially here in the Bay Area, yes, it is very uncommon and all over. It is something that has a lot to do with historical trauma colonization. I speak on, on how the foods actually got lost and how foods are actually coming back to the Native communities. So when someone goes to your restaurant, what's the experience that you want them to have um, from, um, you know, tasting that food and visiting your restaurant and meeting you? What do you want them to walk away with? I want them to walk away of let them know, like, um, let them think about whose land that they're on, where these mm. foods come from, and how beautiful our Native culture is. That's a beautiful thing to say. That's a beautiful. Okay. Give me a couple of more uh, things I might want to order when I go there. I want to hear some of your favorites. <laughs> Oh, definitely. Right now, we've been, um, everybody loves our blue corn waffles and, of course, our blue corn blueberry bison meatballs and our harvest salad. Our salads are seasonal. Right now, we have fresh persimmons. Um, we have <clears throat> pomegranates and how it's made with a maple vinaigrette. And then we always add that little maple, cedar, and sweet grass all into the lovely. mix of it. So everybody enjoys that. Yeah, that sounds really wonderful. Thank you for being with us today and sharing all this with us.